Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This should be fine, this should be fine. Don't make a mistake. Run, 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 run. Release the hounds! I'm so nervous right now. At this point, you're probably wondering, why is he so nervous about pulling a simple boss? Oh, let me show you. I'm currently attempting to solo every single dungeon in World of Warcraft Classic on Hardcore. And today we are exploring the Skarlik Monastery Library. First boss, Houndmaster Loxy. So what makes him so scary? He has over 7000 health points. But also not just one or two, but three hounds. Each with another 3000 health points. That means in total I have to do over 17000 damage to beat this boss. Easy, right? Just play it slow. Heal up once I get low, like I did with any other boss, right? I got pretty good gear at this point. You wanna see what happens if I just face tank this boss? And here as a bear. There's absolutely no way I can do this without a little bit of cheese. In this video, I will jump straight into explaining what I did on my hardcore attempt. If you're interested in how I got to this point, just watch my last video. It shows exactly what I went through to get here. So here are all the things I learned about the Houtmaster in 3 days of practice. First, one of the strongest tools against the Houtmaster is Flash Bomb. With this, you can fear all the hounds all at the same time while only fighting the boss. Second. There are a lot of reset spots in the first half of the dungeon. You can jump onto the statue in the middle of the courtyard or into any of the windows in the hallway. Third, you have to kill the Houndmaster first. Killing a hound and then resetting will just cause the killed hound to respawn. Fourth, you can't fight them alone. If you manage to isolate any of them, the rest of the group will eventually leash back onto you. By combining all of these rules, I came up with the following strategy. First, you pull the boss with a flash bomb, causing all the hounds to be feared while the boss is running towards you. Second, you run all the way back into the first hallway and position yourself besides one of the windows. You fight the boss until you see the hounds coming towards you after their fear run out, and then jump onto a window. Third, you position yourself on the window so that the houndmaster is so close to you that he won't evade, while the hounds are so far away that they actually reset. Fourth. You now have to kill the Houndmaster before the Hounds reach their initial position. Otherwise, they will run back to the Houndmaster even if you are on the reset spot. If you do everything correctly, it should look like this. Okay, okay, okay. Throw. Run. Okay, this looks good, this looks good. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Nice. So, get him as close as possible to the window. So I run up here. And I have to get him back to the window ledge once the hounds start running away. Yes, yes, yes. Does it work? Does it work or does it not work? I hope they don't do this weird thing where they come back. Then I have to jump down. Oh, they're still there. They're still there. Nice, 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 nice. I think this is it. Oh, come on. Okay, they're still, they keep running further away, which is not good because I think once they hit the end, they will actually come to me. I think I'm still not out. I have to heal soon. I will actually stun him now and heal. Come on, come on. Oh, he's heading so fast. Heal completely up. Should be fine. Okay. If I see the hounds, I have to instantly jump down. If I see the hounds, I have to instantly jump down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think they're almost back at their current state. 
Oh, my leg is shaking. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No hounds? Yes! I will stay up here. The hounds will, in case they snap or do something weird. And as soon as I'm out of combat, I will celebrate. Come on. I think I'm good. Uh, yes! Woo! Oh. 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 Two XP? What? No. I got much more, I think. I don't know. How much experience did I got? I didn't watch. I didn't look. It looks like I got a lot. Oh, we got it. Oh, my heart. Um, um, um. Ooh, nice. The gloves. Finally. After many, many hours of trying this boss, with all kind of different strategies, I finally managed to defeat the Houndmaster. Here's a big shout out to Camel Lotion, one of my viewers. He was super helpful in the entire process of finding everything out about this dungeon. The rest of the dungeon was much more straightforward. You can easily fight or stealth your way to the last boss. In preparation for Arcanist Doan, I got myself a magic resistant potion as he has a wide range of spellcasting abilities. First of all, he will constantly spam arcane explosions and silence. These will create a lot of pressure, as your windows for healing is pretty small and the explosions do moderate damage. On top of that, at 50% he becomes immune and casts a gigantic fire nova that you will have to evade by standing out of his line of sight. So here's my full life attempt on the Arcanist Doan on my hardcore druid. Okay, I have my... Oh, this only lasts a few seconds. Okay, then let's go. You will not defile these mysteries. So, and I want to pull him, like here, for example, and that he turns so that I can run behind the shelf. Go backwards, mister, please. Go backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Yeah, thank you. One more, one more. So, I, I want him to be on that bookshelf so that I can run behind that other bookshelf in case he does his fire nova. One more, please. One. He does so much damage, holy moly. After the next silence call... Okay, I'm silenced now, that's not good. Can you please go backwards? Please go backwards, a little bit more. Okay, I will quickly heal, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I'm silenced again. Should be fine, should be fine, should be fine. So now comes the fire nova in a second. I will run behind this shelf here. Come on. No, no silence before the fire. Oh, that's annoying. I wanted to heal in the meantime. Okay, now the fire comes. I will run here. I'm fine on life, I think. I will just try to... Okay, I didn't took any damage. Nice, 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 nice. Can I stun him? Probably not, right? No, I cannot. Okay. I think no Fire Nova is coming anymore, right? This is the, He does it only once at 50%. So I will try to push him again in the corner, just in case. Um, come on, one more step, one more step. That's actually kind of scary with the silence. Nice. Okay, that's a good position. Um, I'm silenced again, but it should be fine. I can burn him down now, and I have... Oh, I just noticed I have cooldown on healing. Oh, I didn't notice this. And on Light of the Loon, I had also cooldown then because of the magic resistance. <laughs> Oops. Okay, whatever. Um, we got it. Come on. Yes. 28,000 experience. Holy moly. Okay, shoulders. And the rod. Nice. I think the... Um... This is actually not even that bad for like a build in case I need a caster build. So I keep actually both of them, just in case I want to heal. And I have my quest item. Whew. And with that, Scarlet Monastery Library on my Hardcore Druid is completed. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, for I said in the video that loot I will not loot them to um, prolong the time until they respawn. Oh, I have to start the timer. Um, but it's actually not true. It doesn't matter if you loot them or not. Like, I can loot them, they will respawn in 30 minutes, or I cannot loot them and they'll always respawn in 30 minutes. So it's something where 
Um, I should definitely just loot because it has just done fits. And I'm actually looking for um, silk cloth. Whoa! Holy! Whoa! That's probably by now like a 20 gold item. 